Well, they can actually compete with about 90% of the population in OECD countries, uh, wow. which is quite scary that uh, actually we need to think harder what makes us human these days. So what about that digital divide that has been existing between the developed and the developing countries? Are we going to see it getting ever larger? Yeah, you know, I think there's a first digital divide, which is, you know, access to uh, technology and broadband and so on. There, actually, I believe probably that gap will be closed because those technologies become ever cheaper. They become more effective. They become more widespread in the world. What I worry more is a second digital divide that is opening up. And that is the divide among those humans who are really very good at, you know, accessing the digital world and living with this and navigating it, and those who become the slaves of algorithms. I give you an example. In the last PISA test, we looked at the capability of students to distinguish fact from opinion. And uh, Chinese students did quite well on this test, but in most OECD countries, it was a minority of students who were good at you know, distinguishing fact from opinion. That is the second digital divide. You know, if you cannot understand the idea, the nature of an algorithm, you're going to be the slave of that algorithm. And that divide is much, much harder to close, and particularly between more advanced and less advanced education systems. So, yeah, technology, I think, will be accessible to everyone one day. But the human skills to use it wisely, that is, I think, the biggest challenge that we are just beginning to understand. Uh, what do you see that might be the danger of a third divide, which is almost like information divide in a way? Uh, to the artificial intelligence systems? You know, I think this is one of the most fundamental challenges. Artificial intelligence is not a magic power. It's just mm. an amazing accelerator, an incredible amplifier. It, you know, uses the information that it has. And if only part of the world, you know, digitizes its information, then artificial intelligence will be looking to those parts of the world. So in a way, uh, things in the world that are not captured, and it could be the arts, it could be, you know, work mm. in, in emerging countries are not visible. So basically, artificial intelligence will amplify, accelerate what it sees from those countries that contribute to this, while the countries that are not contributing to this world of information will actually be increasingly separated from this. And I think that is one mm. of the greatest risks that we will, our view, our vision, will get more and more distorted. Uh, we will see what is visible through the kind of numerical data that we have. 